Hey everyone, Zomo here and welcome back to my channel. You might recognize this build from my last build, which was our medieval village time lapse. I've decided to do a tutorial of this church because I figured some people would maybe want to make it in their own world, so let's get into the build. So we're going to build up this stone brick pillar 15 blocks tall and you'll see it's divided into three bits of five block tall increments. So we're working our way up these four pillars and then we'll go ahead and work our way to the other details of the build. Now these other structures that we're building are five blocks tall using stone bricks and they're each separated by four blocks in between them. Awesome. Now we can go ahead and fill out these horizontal parts. We're working our way up at these three different rings that are all separated by five blocks. Perfect. Now we can go ahead and figure out the rest of these walls. So these walls are going up diagonally until they reach the top of this tower. And then we'll go ahead and stop right there. And then we'll go ahead and continue with this other pattern three blocks inward at a diagonal from here. Just like so. And then we'll finish the rest of the frame using the same diagonal pattern and stopping at the same height level. And then it will be seven blocks wide on the middle portion. Now this build is definitely able to be made longer if you want, if you can totally add another four block section to make another ring of these if you want your church to be longer. So that's a nice way to customize this build. And then this last little part will be where we have our decorative stained glass feature. Now that we've done that, we can go ahead and fill in our interior walls with stone. So we'll go ahead and fill in all of these blocks with stone in this little three by three pattern. You'll be seeing this made. And then we'll of course leave in some two by one holes for the windows as you can see from the outside. So we'll go ahead and leave in four of these windows on the top layer. And then for the second part of this tower, we'll leave in one two by one window. So we'll see these windows come up in a second. And then we'll go ahead and fill in these layers on the first part of this decorative feature. And then we'll fill in this wall as well. And we're just filling this all the way in with stone, but you can feel free to use andesite if you like that block as well. And there are many ways where you can customize this with different textures. We'll go ahead and fill in most of this back wall as well, but we'll leave a little bit of a gap for our stained glass feature, as you can see. So we're just leaving that one feature entirely empty in the meantime, because we'll be able to fill it in later with stained glass. And now that we've done that, we can go ahead and move on to our windows, which will be these four by four features with a two by two gap for our windows. And now that we've done those three windows, we'll go ahead and do the same three windows on this side. Awesome. Now we can go ahead and work on our roof. So we're filling this in with dark oak stairs and each of the diagonal parts until we reach the flat part and then we will transition to using slabs and we'll fill them in with all the entire flat part all the way up to the edge as you can see and then once we reach that edge we can go ahead and return to these staircases all the way down and it'll be overhanging the smooth stone by one block but it'll meet just the end where those stone bricks connect and then i'll go ahead and speed out the rest of this process Feel free to change the material if you want. You can change to spruce wood, I would recommend as well if you don't want it as dark, but I really like the dark oak for this build. I think it's a bit of a darker build, a little earthy. So I like those colors, but you can change it depending on the nature of your village. 
So we're making these buttress features on top using our upside down stone brick staircases. And then we'll go ahead and add our whole block of stone bricks on top. And then we'll fill in the halfway parts with our stone brick slabs all the way around on all four sides. Now that we've done that, we can fill in the top with our smooth stone. And then we can go ahead and add our stone brick walls on each of these diagonal parts. This is a pretty straightforward step. Just go ahead and add it on all of those diagonal blocks. Awesome. You can also go ahead and instead of using that wall there, you can even use stair blocks and face them outward to make them jagged. And we filled in that little back part with stone brick so that it was filled in. And we'll go ahead and use our green stained glass because I really enjoy the way they look in this texture pack. You can also use blue would be a great color or yellow I think would also be a great color. And then we'll go ahead and use the same color for these windows as well. Now that we've done that, we can add our slabs on each of these windows and that'll make a nice little arch shape. So we'll do it on all of these features as well. I accidentally missed that one on this side and then we fixed it and then we'll go ahead and add it over our doorway as well. And that'll make a nice arch shape for each of our little pits. Then we added a door and now we'll go into the inside for a bit. So I decided to stick to the dark oak theme for the floor and I used world edit to just quickly add it for the rest of the build. And I like the color of this. I wanted a darker color for the floor and then I wanted the seats to contrast a bit. And now we're doing our own artwork. I decided to make a Minecraft tree because I wanted this to be a bit of a naturey, earthy build. And you can add whatever you want. You could add a sun, a moon, any kind of art artwork that you want to add for your stained window. And this, this is a nice shape to really get some cool things going. So we added our Minecraft tree there and then we'll go ahead and add our seating in oak wood. And this is a good contrast for the dark oak, I think. And we'll go ahead and add them every other block until we reach the end of the build. Awesome. And then just for some decoration, I added some enchanting tables in the corners, and then I went ahead and made a little lectern area in the middle for here. And we just added some stairs around it so it looks a little elevated. And that's really all you need for this interior. And now to finish up the exterior, we're just muddying around the build with these cracked stone bricks and some cobblestone. And this will really give our build this aged look that we want to have, especially if we're in a medieval setting or if we're in kind of a ruined area. You can even go ahead and break some blocks if you want this to look even more ruined and destroyed. I think that would have a really cool effect, especially if you added this to a jungle biome and maybe changed up some of the blocks to be jungle planks instead of our dark oak planks. There's all sorts of ways you can get really creative with this build. And then we'll go ahead and add some bushes all around as well to make it a little bit more nature-y. And now we're done with the build. I'll give you guys a 360 fly around so you can use this for any measurement purposes and just to look at the build and see if you really want to make it for yourself. I love the way the stained glass looks in this shader pack, so feel free to check that out in the description as well. This is what the interior looks like. Hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. It was really fun making this build in our medieval village, so I was really happy to make a tutorial so you guys could add it to your own worlds. It was very fun making this and I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it, remember to like, comment, and subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to see more cool tutorials and time lapses on this channel. Alright, and I'll be saying peace.